stage weather though, we're going to recap November. The last record was set in 1951. We broke the record this November with nearly more than an inch of rain on our previous record. Today, yes, we stick with quite a wet story, a lot of showers around, but as I said, at least it's milder than the weather we saw yesterday. A lot of showers around today are affecting southern counties of England. They'll be pretty heavy through the next few hours, even the risk of the odd rumble of thunder. Watch out for those. We'll also have a peppering of showers this afternoon affecting southern and western areas of Wales and down towards the southwest of England as well. Now, most of the showers will be fairly well scattered, but occasionally they'll become very organised with the risk of the odd rumble of thunder, some torrential downpours giving some tricky conditions out and about on the roads. Some showers too for the southeast of England, still rather cloudy for East Anglia. The Midlands and northwest England dry and bright with some sunshine this afternoon, but along these north sea coasts of England, it remains pretty cloudy and gloomy. The low cloud and mist here pretty reluctant to clear. Now for the northeast of Scotland, we stick with some sunshine, a little on the breezy side. Cloudy for western Scotland with one or two showers just clipping the coast. We'll also see some showers affecting eastern areas of Northern Ireland. Now overnight, the showers continue for southern areas of England. For Scotland, it will be clear and cold at first, but then thicker cloud invades, bringing some rain. It'll be pretty heavy through the early hours of tomorrow, bringing a spell of snow across the mountains. A chilly two or three degrees for northern areas, but six or seven degrees are starting temperatures in the south. Now for many tomorrow it will be a cloudy start, a lot of rain around for a wet one for northern and central areas, and that rain will push eastwards through the afternoon. Following on behind, sunshine and showers, some of them heavy, maybe the risk of the odd rubble of thunder, perhaps sleety across higher ground, but temperatures tomorrow down on today's 7th to 8th, that's because of the wind direction coming in from the northwest. Now tomorrow evening the isobars open up, the skies will clear, and it turns cold and frosty. Towns and cities temperatures hovering around about or just above freezing. So at least it's a sunny start for many on Friday, but it will be quite a cold and frosty one. Now on Friday we stick with the sunshine across eastern areas, but a weather front invading from the west will bring you cloud and rain sweeping eastwards. And then for the weekend, while well, the rain clears through, there'll be yet more rain on Saturday and then a spell of showers on Sunday. So yes, it's mild, it'll be frosty through the next few nights and wet and windy as we head into the weekend. Thank you very much.